Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's 4th and final video. We're going to have a look at the weather the next 10 to 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 25th of April and we'll be able to extend that beyond that with the SNGFS and ECM ensembles. They run throughout a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFS V2 at the end of the video. The next four weeks that gets us into the early stages of May. I shall get on with that for you in a moment just to save that first video saying was our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. We've also released the weekend forecast, and if that wasn't enough, the ECMWF 42 day forecast as well. Please check out all of today's videos, and thank you so very much, everybody, uh, for doing that. Um, I'm still got a little bit of cough. I'm a better than I was yesterday, but I'm feeling better, so thank you so much, everybody, for all of your messages and um, whatnot. So, um, you know, it's, I think yesterday was the peak. I am feeling quite a bit better uh, today, still not 100%, but but uh, I think we're on the up now. I think I, I, uh, yesterday, you know, was the peak of uh, whatever the little cold or whatnot is that I have. Uh, but thank you so much, everybody, for your messages. I said I've still got a bit of a cough, so I may need to start having a cough at some point through the video. But uh, hopefully, won't be as much as yesterday. Right, let's start off with the searching temperature. The CT is currently standing at a nice round 8 degrees, 8.0. That's 0.1 of a degree above the 61 to 90 average, so bang on average, really, for the time of year. And that is provisional to be uh, 14th of April to um, yesterday. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We're at Leeds today, red line, 30 year upper air temperature average for Leeds, starting off still a little bit below average uh, today. We are going to find the upper air temperature becoming milder into the beginning of next week, then dropping away a little bit through the middle of next week as some cooler air comes in from the east. However, by the end of next week into next weekend, it is turning warmer there. So uh, we might get a, a, a few days of uh, warmer weather at the end of week and into next weekend. The last week of April, the last sort of five days or so of the month, might see another cool down. Um, and there are some quite cold outlier members appearing uh, again, including the GFS Midnight Operation Road, which is this thick green line. So got to watch out for those closing days of April where we might get uh, yet another sort of spell of northerly winds. Precipitation-wise, it's a lot drier than it has been through the first half of, uh, of April. Not completely dry, there will be some precipitation spikes around at uh, times, there are some, I should say, there are some precipitation spikes there. Uh, you know, so it could be some rain around at times, could be some shower, but much drier sort of couple of weeks coming up compared to what we've had, I think, over the first half of April. Temperature anomalies from the 15th, 23rd of April coming out a little bit uh, cooler than average for England and Wales, a little bit above average for Scotland and Northern Ireland. Not a particularly big deviation anywhere. And precipitation anomalies from the 15th, 23rd of April, they're coming out drier than normal in all places, especially so in the north. The latest from that from EarthNoldSchool.net shows that we're beginning to break out of the unsettled low-pressure dominated weather we've had in recent days. So um, the low pressure is still in the Atlantic, of course, but uh, there is a ridge now that is starting to build um, through there. So it is beginning to turn just a little bit more uh, ridgy and we'll eventually find that ridge developing into a proper area of high pressure over Scandinavia. And we'll go through the chart data, we see that very nicely on this chart, which is for midnight on Tuesday. We've got a proper boat of fire, Scandinavian high there, the winds coming in from the east. Now, this easy wind is going to be chilly for the middle part of next week. So we're certainly not going to be having a heat wave um, in the coming few days. This east north east wind is coming all the way from Russia. And whilst, you know, it's April, so it's not going to be particularly cold, it will have uh, a chill to it. It'll probably bring in uh, an upper level trough sometime around Thursday or Friday as well, which might bring in some showers and maybe some longer spells of rain into the south and the southeast. And some pretty cool air as well. We've got to watch out for that. If it was winter, that would be a proper snowmaker coming in uh, from the east. We get through to Saturday, then that uh, trough moves out of way, and we possibly start bringing the wind up more of a southerly, southeasterly direction. That should turn things warmer uh, through next weekend. <coughs> Excuse me, everybody. Right, I can't look like that again. Proper Scandinavian high on Tuesday, with the easy wind freshing up through Wednesday and Thursday. Again, a trough might bring some showers into the south and the southeast on Thursday. But other than that, there should be uh, a lot of dry weather through uh, next week. We start turning wind into more of a southerly as we get through to next weekend. We high pressure still to our east, low pressure 
out to west. And so next weekend should start to turn warmer with the wind changing from rising north northeasterly to a south southeasterly. GFS Midnight Run again has the Scandinavian high in on uh, Tuesday with an easterly wind. Those east winds freshen through Wednesday and Thursday and into Friday. Quite a cold easterly wind potentially for the south of the east. If you're on the east coast, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I reckon <laughs> it'll be feeling quite bracing. Uh, the warmest, dry as well with this pattern as always, further north coast to centre at the high pressure. Now, next weekend cuts off that easterly flow as the high pressure sinks in from Scandinavia. So that should turn things drier and warmer next weekend. Our first 20 Celsius temperatures are possible, I think, when we get to uh, next weekend. In the exceeding range, the GFS Midnight Run then takes the high pressure up to Greenland and starts pulling in colder air from the north northeast again. So by the 27th of April, we're a very long way out now, but by the 27th of April, we're bringing quite chilly air, cold air in from the north and the northeast. Certainly a return of overnight frost uh, with that. Um, before we begin to cut off that northeast, and by the 1st of May, that's Bank Holiday Monday, of course, as far as we can get to. And by the way, um, early spring Bank Holiday uh, updates will begin very shortly at Gaz Weather. Well, by Monday, the 1st of May, we find the bridge coming back in over top of the country, and uh, that, turns, that turns things drier. And potentially a little bit uh, warmer as well. But GFS 6 z all much of a muchness for Tuesday, with a Scandinavian high and an easterly wind as well. Uh, there could be a trough pushing across England and Wales on Thursday, bringing showers or longer spells of rain. Once that gets out of the way, we should cut off the easterly flow and turn the wind into more of a south easterly. Should turn drier and warmer there for next weekend. And that was very pleasant by day 10. That's the 25th of April under that area of high pressure. I reckon we could be seeing temperature up to 21 degrees there. That is 17 Fahrenheit. With the 6 z again, it's similar to the midnight run. We take that high pressure up to Greenland and Iceland in the XA range and start to pull in these cooler or colder north northeast winds again. So as we go through to Mount Sam, yes, it's turning colder with winds back in from the northeast. Maybe wintry showers in the far north and uh, a risk of some overnight frost with that as well. So a cold snap for months end. And uh, as we get to the 1st of May, May Day looking more unsettled as well with showery conditions and certainly cooler. If you're enjoying the video, then please can you like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. We need to put on around 70 subscribers now. Subs moved quite significantly yesterday. Thanks so much to our new subs yesterday. Um, we need to put around 70 subscribers to get ourselves to uh, 15.8k. So if you could give us a sub, uh, that would be amazing. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. GM, again, with high pressure over Scandinavia on Tuesday. And uh, that's the scenario through uh, middle of next week with both chilling east northeast winds as well. There's a kink in the ice. Why is it a little kinky ice bars there? Oh, don't know. Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry, mate. That brings some showery conditions potentially in across the southeast sometime around Thursday. And that actually develops into a little area of low pressure um, through the second half of next week. So a little bit more unsettled, actually, second half of next week with the GEM. Um, and by day 10, the high pressure looks like going towards Greenland. We're trying to pull in both chilly north northeast winds. So the GEM is cooler and more showery compared to the other model output. Um, from around Thursday onwards. And then the ECM at WF again has a high pressure over Scandinavia on Tuesday. We pick up those easterly winds through middle next week. Maybe we'll have a chill to them. Kinks in the ice bars suggest a trough moving in across the south and south east Thursday to Friday. Might bring some showery conditions into the south and into the south east as well. A little area of low pressure trying to form there around next weekend. Uh, and that introduces then that warmer air pushing in uh, from the south uh, across the country. This is my precipitation forecast based on my ECM run from tomecho.com. So uh, it's drying out over the next few days. There will be some showy rain tonight and tomorrow morning in the west. And, you know, a few showers coming and going here and there. But the trend is to drier weather over the uh, coming days. We pick up that easterly wind. 
and that eventually brings these showers in uh, to the south and to the southeast by the uh, sort of middle of next week and whatnot, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, I'm not completely dry, but there are showers around. The driest weather is actually through central and northern parts of the country. The south is more at risk of showers with both east winds. Well, things turn drier and warmer by day 10. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10. From the Icelandic Met Office, this gets us to the 25th of April. Uh, 21 members of the ECM ensemble, including the control and the operation, run with high pressure to our south and east. And we bring up, um, you know, a warmish southerly type flow uh, by day 10. That does include the control and the operation run 12 with high pressure to our south and to our northwest. Low pressure to our northeast and southwest. Very complicated pattern. But the upshot is we're probably reasonably uh, dry the south and quite mild. We've got 10 with high pressure. Take the high pressure, we've, we've got 10, taking the high pressure, I should say, out into the Atlantic and up to, <coughs> up to Greenland with low pressure in over Scandinavia. And that's bringing in a cooler or a colder, normally tight blow. And then we've got eight with high pressure reaching through the country and going north. Well, it should be mostly dry, but we are threatening to bring in something cooler or colder from the north and from the northeast there in two week time. These are the options that we've got. Gets us to the last day of April. 26 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure right on top of the That should be dry and quite warm. 13 with high pressure to our south and east. Low pressure away to our west. So that should be um, reasonably dry and quite warm as well. And then 12 with high pressure just out to our west. Low pressure dropping into the northeast. And possibly uh, with a bit of a northerly blow. Could be mostly dry but a little bit on the cool side. CFSB2, uh, these are 500 millibar height and normally it's broken down into week periods. The first week period takes from the 15th to 21st of April, the coming week with high pressure to our north and northeast. Winds coming in from an easterly direction. And with that, I've already established that it's going to be much drier. It could be some showers, though, in the southeast. With those east winds, it could be a little bit cool midweek in the south. Week two will be the 22nd, 28th of April. High pressure moving out into the Atlantic, up towards Greenland, Iceland. That's threatening to try and start bringing in some cooler air from the north and the northeast. But as it is, it's probably still keeping most of the cold air at bay to our north and northeast with this particular trough of low pressure just here. We're probably just on the periphery of those uh, cooler or colder winds. Uh, not since week three, <laughs> which is 29th of April, 5th of May. High pressure then becomes a properly established Greenland high. Low pressure to the south of it and over Scandinavia. I reckon that could well be turning both colder with winds in from the north and potentially rather unsettled as well. With the low pressure in the Atlantic threatened to bring rain in. And uh, week four doesn't look much better. It's the 6th to the 12th of May. This is all around sort of um, early spring bank holiday, May Day bank holiday and uh, the King's coronation as well. Um, and it all looks a little bit mixed, I have to say. It doesn't look great. High pressure blocking around Greenland, low pressure into uh, the north and west of Europe. So cool and unsettled with that, with spells of rain, with that trough of low pressure. A little bit worrying for uh, His Majesty, maybe. I don't know. Right, well, that's it. We've done it. It's four weeks away, so it's not worth worrying about, really. We're done. If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. And uh, why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. I mean, thank you so very much, everybody, for doing that. As I say, 70 subs will get us to around, or I should say around 70 subs will get us to... See, I'm not quite with it. I'm still not quite with it. I'm a lot better than I was yesterday, but I'm still, you know, a little bit uh, fuzzy-headed and whatnot. So, <laughs> let's do that again. Um, so, uh, yes, uh, we're around 70 subscribers now um, needed to get ourselves to 15.8k. Uh, so, please give us a sub. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Just coming up tomorrow at 6am upload. We will have the next summer update. I think we're up to update number six with that so some update coming up tomorrow and a 10 to 14 day as well tomorrow evening we might do a um a uh, forecast for uh early spring back card as well as it will be within gfs time frame and that so uh, keep checking back to the channel for more um and for this video though that's all for now and thanks for watching